I'm Colin's surname. Welcome to Mixed Emoji, a new show in which we review the various Unicode emoji available in different operating systems and interfaces. Now, if I'm inconsistent with the plural of emoji throughout the show, please feel free to let me know in the comment. The theme for today's show is dogs. First, let's look at the simple dog emoji. Thanks to Emojipedia for compiling all of these. The standard dog emoji is strongly influenced by the Akita Inu, or perhaps the Shiba Inu, two Japanese dog breeds well known for their friendly faces and spacey enthusiasm. Still, there's a range of dog interpretations here. If we look at apples, that's a buck wild dog you got right there. A rather realistic but rigid looking Akita. Google's version is a very cutesy puppy dog with some strange ears. HTC have opted for a cave painting. Twitter's dog is perched on just two pointy legs. And Emoji One have gone for this demented pug. Pugs. Look, I've nothing against pugs. Some of my best friends are pugs. But when I look at this, I don't just think dog, I think pug. My winner for this category is going to have to be Google. You gain and lose some points for simplicity here, but I think what we're looking for in an animal emoji is eye contact. Best in show. Now, we've seen the dogs, but what about their faces? Apple have a fat-faced dog. Google. It's the very same face that just won the dog emoji, but without its body this looks like a bear. Microsoft's stencil art is quite creepy. Some of these look a bit more like broken rabbits. You know, the one I like most here is Samsung. Good work, Samsung. You've drawn a furry friend who's fun to be with. Now, on a slight diversion, we're going to look at paws. What are they good for? Mostly shock absorption. These could be the paws of dogs or cats. Possibly after wandering through paint, they say, which is quite cute. There's not much in it on this one, though if you look at Microsoft's for too long, you see it as two screaming faces with extra eyes. I don't see how you can go wrong with paw prints. Oh, Facebook. Facebook, did you not get the memo? It's down to Apple or Samsung here. I'm not sure why they're red, but Apple wins with the nicest paw shape. Now it's time for wolves, the hell's angels of the dog world. Apples seem to think wolves are sock puppets. There's some very cute ones further down, but I think when you think wolf, you think this Google badass here, who may be on some hockey team's jerseys or something. And finally, poodle? Why a poodle? If we're gonna single out one breed of dog, why the coiffured poodle? Microsoft are going for the balloon animal version? I'm gonna give it to Apple on realism this time, but that's not the point. There are 722 known breeds of domesticated dog, and the one that has its own emoji is the poodle. I think what we need here is more representation. These emojis show only a small range of dogs, with no clear terriers, Alsatians, or Chewinis. We're told every dog will have his or her day, but not every dog even has his or her emoji. I think in order to communicate properly, we're going to need emoji representation for all dogs. Yes, all dogs. Because until every dog is equal, no dog is truly equal. Okay, that's the end of the first mixed emoji. If you like this video, don't forget to wash your hands.